Bergoglio was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on December 17, 1936, to Italian immigrants. As a young man, Bergoglio underwent surgery to remove part of one of his lungs due to a serious infection. He graduated from a technical school as a chemical technician before beginning training at the Doshian Seminary of Villa Devoto. In March 1958, he entered the Novitate of the Society of Jesus. Bergoglio taught literature and psychology at Immaculate Conception College in Santa Fe in 1964 and 1965, and also taught the same subjects at the Colegio de Salvatore in Buenos Aires in 1966. He studied theology and received a degree from the Colegio of San Jose from 1967 to 1970, and finished his doctoral thesis in theology in Freiburg, Germany in 1986. Ordained as a priest in December 1969, Bergoglio began serving as Jesuit Provincial of Argentina in 1973. He has said that initially, his mother did not support his decision to enter the priesthood, despite the fact that she was a devout Catholic. By the time he was ordained, however, she accepted his calling and asked for his blessing at the end of his ordination ceremony. He later returned to his alma mater, the Colegio of San Jose, where he served as rector. 1980 through 86, as well as a professor of theology. On May 20th, 1992, Bergoglio was named titular bishop of Alca and Auxiliary of Buenos Aires. He was ordained into that post a week later. In February 1998, he became Archbishop of Buenos Aires, succeeding Antonio Quaracino. Three years later, in February 2001, he was elevated to Cardinal by Pope John Paul II, named the Cardinal Priest of St. Robert Bellarmino. In 2005, he was named President of the Bishop's Conference of Argentina, serving in that position until 2011. After Pope John Paul II's death in April 2005, Bergoglio reportedly received the second most votes in the 2005 Papal Conclave. Pope Benedict XVI, Joseph Ratzinger, was chosen as Pope John Paul's successor.
On March 13, 2013, at the age of 76, Borgoglio was named the 266th Pope of the Roman Catholic Church, becoming the first citizen from the Americas, the first non-European and first Jesuit priest to be named Pope. And adopting the name Pope Francis, he took the title after St. Francis of Assisi of Italy. Prior to the 2013 Papal Conclave, Pope Francis had served as both Archbishop and Cardinal for more than 12 years. The tone of his papacy, which has become admired globally, was established long before his elevation to the church's highest position. However, when he was named to that post, the media quickly picked up on stories of his humility. News circulated about the fact that he returned to the boarding house where he had been staying to pay his bill personally, rather than send an assistant, and that he would choose to live in a simple two-room apartment rather than the luxurious papal accommodations in the Vatican's apostolic palace. In choosing to live more simply, Pope Francis broke a tradition that had been upheld by popes for more than a century. In April 2016, Francis issued his second exhortation, a wide-ranging pronouncement on family issues. In it, he urged priests and bishops to take a more welcoming and less judgmental attitude toward homosexuals, single parents, and the divorced who remarried but who had not obtained an annulment. In August 2018, Francis revised the Catechism of the Catholic Church to fully reject the death penalty. The revision states that the death penalty is inadmissible because it is an attack on the invulnerability and dignity of the person. Long a vocal critic of the death penalty, Francis said that the church would work to abolish capital punishment worldwide. In February 2019, Francis became the first pope ever to visit the Arabian Peninsula, the birthplace of Islam, in a trip meant to promote religious fraternity and peace. In his three-day visit to Abu Dhabi, in the United Arab Emirates, he attended the Global Conference on Human Fraternity and met with Graham Imam Ahmed al tayeb the head of Cairo's Al-Azhar Mosque and one of the highest authorities in Sunni Islam. He also celebrated a Papal Mass attended by an estimated 180,000 people, many of whom were Christian immigrants, in what was the largest display of Christian worship in the country's history.